I'm here today with a really special guest, my friend Dania. <laughs> and she actually has become a little bit famous in our friend groups for this recipe, so I'm really excited for her to share her secret with us. Uh, what are we making today? So today we're going to be making knefe. If you can't already tell from the ingredients, to begin, so this side is like the knefe part ingredients, and this is the syrup that gets poured over it. Awesome. Yeah. So it's very healthy, obviously. Very very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm holding these scissors. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. this is the shredded filo dough. So this is like a size of how big you should be cutting it. It looks like um, hair. I know, right? I think I successfully have calloused my fingers <laughs> with these good. scissors. I know. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna do the cheese part. Yes. Okay. And then you break it up with your hands. Just into like small pieces. Mm -hmm. This is relaxing. I can see this being therapeutic. Yeah. So we shredded all the cheese. The next step is putting the kashta with the cheese. So we're gonna dump this whole one in here and then you mix it. Let the creaminess get throughout all the cheese. So we're gonna bring the side. shredded, the shredded filo dough and we're gonna melt butter. All right, so we have this melted butter, three sticks. Throw some on top and the bottom. Mix it all throughout. All right, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Is it gonna burn me? No, it's, it's like warm, but it's not hot. So like, make sure the bottom gets the butter and everywhere gets the butter. Butter for everybody. So we're just buttering the pan a little bit with the less butter. We're gonna take a handful okay. of the knefe because you don't wanna make it all red. So can you pour a little bit down? Sure. Just a little bit? Mm -hmm. And then I'll add a little bit more. Spread it all the way around. This is the bottom layer. Okay. Make sure it's a little bit even. So you have to flatten it really well. Like pack it in, and that's what keeps it shape. So that even when you're cutting it, it still stays in shape. The next part is filling the cheese. Okay. And you want to create an, a layer again, even layer. All right. How's that? Is that good or keep flattening? Perfect. No. Perfect. Okay. Hear that? Perfect. <laughs> and then the last layer. Of the knefe, which again you just dump it all on top. Does that one need to be orange? Mm -mm. But it does need to be packed well. The knefe is ready. We're gonna put it in the oven and bake it at 420 degrees. All right. And you want to put it in the middle rack, straight to the back, so it cooks evenly. And we're gonna leave it in there for how long? 20 minutes. And while we're that's waiting, we're gonna make the sugar. So I'm actually gonna use four cups of sugar. I'm gonna use one and a half cups of water. We're letting the sugar boil right now, and it's gonna boil eventually to a clear color. This is the part where we can put in the, the spices, the cardamom, and also the lemon, and the lemon makes it not crystallize. And the last and final step is the rose water, but it's basically like a drop. The flavor goes throughout. The knife is ready. Essentially, like when it's golden brown up top, that's when you pull it out. What I do is I pour some of the syrup over it. Okay. You have to flip it. And that's when we get to see the red color that we did that we had earlier. Ha. Ah. And the lifting. Almost, almost perfect. Wow, beautiful. And then this is when you pour the rest of the sugar on top of it. So if you enjoyed this episode, show your appreciation by clicking on the link below. Um, and helping us feed our neighbors. And helping us feed our neighbors. Our USA. Woohoo! Cooking together for a better world. Let's eat this. Right, Can you like so. do a fade out while we eat this? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you got the better piece. Fade out. Fade out.